I want people to know the goodness of God, His generosity, that following Him is absolutely the best thing you can ever do. And I can tell you that God is present in this place because I have felt the love of everybody. I really wanted to come here because God changed my life. group of pastors to come here in the Philippines, it's just a gift, it's a blessing, and I'm so inspired. The Lord inspired me to come to the Philippines to share the good news of Jesus Christ with my brothers and sisters. As a pastor, it's a passion, it's always been a passion of mine to, uh, to, be, uh, to, to evangelize and to spread the gospel to everyone. These beautiful people are teaching me the life of Jesus Christ, their humility, their hunger, and their passion for truth. It's just so inspiring. And I, I'm just so blessed to see all of them open their hearts to receive and accept Jesus as their, as their Savior. sense the Spirit of God here um, as, we, as we brought the whole meeting to a close. Uh, a lot of people came forward and we had special prayer over them. I have seen God work many wonders in similar events in the past. I have heard stories of individuals whose lives have been completely transformed as a result of these type of uh, events. People would come to me and they, they would express that they are blessed. What they didn't know is that I am more blessed when they say that they now understand Jesus' sacrifice and love for them. That's it. That is what inspires me. Very grateful for their work, for the work of this church, and it's been a loving, awesome experience uh, so far. And I'm, I'm just truly looking forward to the what God has in store for us as we uh, continue these meetings. I'm a Northern California conference. Was excited to help lead that effort, and that effort brought us to the mission here at the Southern uh, Mindanao. Evangelistic opportunity. I said yes so that I could serve God and meet new people and learn about the amazing uh, Filipino culture. Uh, maraming maraming pong salamat sa pagsuporta ng mga kapatid dito sa Tampakan at sa, pamu uh, sa pagsuporta ng pamunuan ng SMM. I'm so happy with uh, these uh, people who are here. Uh, they are so happy and enjoying uh, the nightly meetings uh, in this uh, uh, church, in this community. So the technique of reaching is making friends, going to the community, making friends, making visible, meeting their needs, and be yourself, and actually share and be intentional by meeting, knowing, understanding who they are, and share the gospel to them. Um, currently, we're doing the medical mission trip, and it's been a really interesting experience because I would like to be a doctor in the future, and it's been really important for me to see the kind of people I might help. I would like to thank God for His abundant blessings, and also to the Northern California Conference for choosing SMM as part of your mission trip. You have shared your time, your talents, 
efforts and money with the constituents of SMM to let them know the love of Jesus. Congratulations for a job well done. It is my hope that the people of Lagol will discover who God is, what God's love can do for their lives. This is my hope for the people here. When the opportunity came, um, I was excited about it and I wanted to come and uh, visit the Philippines and also um, be a part of the gospel message here and see souls give their lives to Jesus Christ. The best thing that somebody could do would be to read the Bible, to study scripture, and to have a close walk with the Lord Jesus Christ. The Philippines experience is something that will help me uh, educate my members because this is really unforgettable and this is something that is unique for this place. On behalf of Southern Mindanao Mission, we would like to say thank you very much for introducing Southern Mindanao Mission to our friends from NCC and it comes to the point that their presence was actually a blessing to this mission of exchanging ideas and opinions and most especially from the best practices that they have gathered. I have lots of good friends in both those countries of Filipinos that have immigrated there and uh, so I've always wanted to actually step on Filipino ground and, uh, and serve in the Philippines. To be able to have the opportunity to go especially internationally and speak as an evangelist is a lifelong fulfillment of a lifelong dream and it's just something that's very special to me. The blessing but the grace, the love, and the covering of God for, for their life. That, that is the method that Jesus did. He actually um, met their needs, He fed them, he, um, um, healed them, and then later on He asked them to follow Him. It's the same thing, it's the same process that we do in reaching out our community. I would like to express my thanks and appreciation to the Northern California Conference for considering our place of your mission trip. Uh, with the leadership of your beloved president, Dr. Mark Woodson, Retreasurer, uh, Jose Rasmussen, and also your Executive Secretary, Pastor Jose Marin, and also with the post coordination of uh, Dr. Ron Yabut and also Pastor Kevin. Thank you so much, and also with your financial support, along with Southern Asia Pacific Division, with the leadership of Elder Roger Kaderma, and also Pastor Gavin, and also of Southeastern Philippine Union Mission with the leadership of Pastor Palomares and also with Sir Lawrence and uh, Pastor Maria Daro as well as Pastor uh, Rini Rosa. So thank you so much. We are so happy and glad and blessed of your presence here. And because of our united effort with divine power, God grant us with success and victory. And by God's grace, we were able to baptize 1,721 precious souls on that Sabbath at the end of our evangelistic series. So to all speakers, pastors, and lay members who have shared your time and dedication the Lord's work here in Southern Mindanao Mission, I would like to say again, thank you so much. God bless everyone that blessed Northern California Conference.